Gentlemen, start your engines. Ladies and gentlemen, the starting grid as they have qualified for the Goodyear 400 at Darlington. On the pole for the 21st time by just under two hundredths of a second, it's the New Jersey Fury, two-time Darlington winner Martin Truex Jr. And completing an old Toyota front row is Hubba Bubba Wallace, who finished ninth last fall. Row 2, Daytona 500 champion Ricky is in the Stanhouse Jr. as one of two cars throwing it back to Dale Jarrett in 2001. And William Red Byron, so close to winning last year, is trying again in Jeff Gordon's 98 All-Star Scheme. It's going to be an all-team track house row three as the other Jared car of Melonhead Ross Chastain pulls last week's fight in the rear view and dandy Daniel Suarez and Ricky Rudd's Kenny Bernstein machine starts alongside. Row four, yesterday's winner, Young Money Kyle Larson finished in the top five in exactly half the races he's run here and his best friend from Kansas, four-time Darlington winner, Denny Hammer and Hamlin. Row five, last year's runner-up Tyler Chronicles of Reddick throws a back to Kurt Busch's own close runner-up finish from 03 and 2018 Southern 500 winner Brad the Big Keselowski's John Force special is the only forward in the top 10. In row 6, Ryan Inside Blaney honors the Ward of Outlaws career of his father Dave and 2008 winner Rowdy Kyle Busch's throwback is less than 3 months old. Row 7, Turbo Ty Gibbs carries the same Washington Redskins colors Bobby Labonte had to commemorate Joe Gibbs' Football Hall of Fame induction and handsome Harrison Burton has his best start of the season in Jeff's 1999 car. Row 8, Slice Blood himself, defending race winner Joey Logano recognizes Team Penske's first NASCAR win with Mark Donahue and with Matt Kenseth's 2003 scheme, the panhandle prospect Christopher Bell was 6th last year and 5th last fall. To row 9, remembering the unforgettable day Dale Jr. went to victory lane in the 2001 Pepsi 400, it's the Cuban Missile, Eric Almarola and the ace, 2020 Southern 500 runner-up Austin Dillon is there as well. The 10th row consists of Michael McDowell now with two top tens at this track and three-time Darlington champion happy Kevin Harvick gets to drive the pattern he would have had in a part-time season in 2001. Well 11, three-time top five finisher high-speed Chase Elliott is running with the same red shade as father Bill ran during his time with Evanham and the Comet Justin Haley with an impressive third place finish from last year. Two Xfinity throwbacks will be in row 12 with super sub Josh Berry running a Davy Allison livery his spotto drove in 2007 and out of the shadow it's Todd Gilland and Elton Sawyer's 38 Barbasol ride. Row 13, I consider Austin Cindric the entertainer scheme a throw forward from the future. And welcome back to the Cup Series, the Rocket Man, Ryan Newman, as he carries the same Mobile One colors he scored his first career win with. Row 14, the Prosper Punisher, Chris Busher, finished ninth in both races two years ago. And that Jones boy, two-time Southern 500 champion, Eric Jones, won't have to worry about the roof being knocked loose like in 1968. Back in row 15, Nacho Noah Gregson hopes for a good performance in a Jimmy Johnson throwback from 2014 and dangerous AJ Armendinger in the Blacks Tire Chevrolet. A duo of Stuart Haas cars who struggled in qualifying on row 16 with George and Chase Briscoe harkening back to Tony Stewart's win in the 2000 Turkey Night Grand Prix and Priest Lightning Ryan Priest in his father's late model. Row 17 belongs to Spire Motorsports with my my Ty Dillon honoring inaugural World 600 winner Joe Lee Johnson in his first victory in 19 59 and golden boy Coy Joy honoring his grandfather Don. And in row 18, get loud because BJ McLeod is taking the fellows for the NASCAR weekly podcast out for a spin. And the power tool, Brennan Poole, rounds out the field in Bobby Allison's Bud Moore car from 1979. And ladies and gentlemen, there's your field for the Goodyear 400 at Darlington.